Lights out. Hello. To many people, the bagpipe gives forth strange, sometimes eerie sounds. But to Steenie Stinson, the best piper in Scotland back in 1552, the music of the pipes was sweet, because that was all that stood between himself and the devil. Lights out. Hi, Paula. A bit of food would do you more good. But look at you. Your eyes are staring like a wild cat. Aye, devil of a wonder. Ah, to be far, you've never laid eyes on a more miserable man. Oh, it cannot be so bad as that. Oh, it is, Tibby, it is. I have a heart to go home. Well, what is it, Larry? Oh. What be you afraid of? Fetch me more ale, Tibby. Oh. To more help to talk than to drink, Piper and Larry. Aye, and talk I will. Talk I will. But before I have finished, you may wish I had not. Oh, dinner yammer so up with it. Will, you may have heard that I'm not a good manager of my silver. Aye, it is no secret. Will, it was about... Two months ago, when my rent was not paid for two quarters, when I received a summons to the castle of Sir Robert Red Gauntlet, the Laird of Primrose New. Lieutenant Steenson is here. Shall I summon him hither? Oh, so he's come, has he, that foul devil of a bankrupt? Oh, I'll summon him myself like the dogs in the field. Stand aside, new. <laughs> summon the jackanape! Did you know hear the laird's whistle? I do not run with his whistle, I'm not his dog. Oh, t -t 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 -t. Uh, put a smile on your face, or you'll be losing your home by morning. He's teasing your limb of bales, bub. Why didn't you come running when you heard my whistle? Do you know what be the command of your laird? I do not ken it were meant for me. I do not intrude myself unless I am summoned by name. I'm but a weaver, your lurch. I a wondrous piper as well. Ah, oh, hold your tongue, Malcolm. That ten is piping well. <laughs> now hear me, Steaming Steenson. My rents are paid when the due on the day precise. And I'll no have it otherwise, or I'll no have you as a tenant. How much are you in arrear? Five hundred mark. Five hundred mark, is it? Well then, five hundred mark I'll have this very next, Steamy Steenson. Or off my land you'll flit. Pipes and all. This nicht. And I got the silver. That doesn't concern me. I'm keen about my rent and name air. But your rent... Fetch it! But you know... Stephen! When you hear my whistle, delayed, ignore it. Rent or no? Your lordship, the poor man hasn't the money. Will you turn him off? Ah, you're too fond of the pipes, Haggis. Tend to my interest first. Well... But five hundred marks ain't in it. Where would the poor man find it? His name my affair. Well, when you're in your merriment and you crave for the pipes with your burgundy, you dinner say it's no your affair. You yell for the piper. Aye, <laughs> aye. He turns you around his finger with his blasted pipes. But you must show mercy to your own folk. Now, your father... My father, leave off with you. And if the piper return this nicked, fetch him to me at once. And if he doesn't, he come, I'll... I'll... Well, I'll tend to him in the morning. Go to your bed, Malcolm. Get your rest. Remember, Sir Robert, what the physician said. You drink at the 
terror of your life. Oh, you're getting odd, Malcolm. You're chattered like a magpie. Away to your bed. <laughs> I'll wait till the piper returns, and I'll hope to find abroad more mercy than is here at Primrose Knoll. Ah. <laughs> Five hundred mark. Fish, man. Tis a great dip of silver you're asking. I can it well, Jamie. Are you out of security for such a sum? Will you take my gear? And they? I have not else. Oh, what are your pipes? My pipes? Nay, no, I'll not pledge my pipes. Good even to you, Jamie McPherson. Rest you well. Pay you nothing for security. Think we sold goods? Aye. And? My gear? Aye. And I have not else. Your pipes. The tenant Steenson has come. <laughs> oh, that's you. Well, are you come light-handed, you son of a tongue whistle? Because if you are, I... Ah. Is it all here, Steenie man? There is not missing, your ladship. Good. Mark him. You steenie a glass of wine while I count the silver and write him a receipt. Hey. <laughs> You're a steenie lad. <laughs> Monstrous pleased that he is. <laughs> ah, 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 oh, Steve! Ah, Steve, help me with him. Hi. Hi. Oh, 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 wine, Markham. I need wine. Oh. Oh, well, don't you just stand there and help me? Oh. Oh, the fires have held me in me. And you, you, play me a tune on your pipes, you devil of a minstrel. I'll fetch a physician. Aye. Play! Oh, no, no. Play or I'll have your liver! Two nights later, the word was passed that the lad was dead. Aye, the old one said it was the working of a wizard. Aye, well, tonight, with the corpse scarce cold in the ground, I received another summons. To the castle? Aye, from the new lord of Primrose No. Ah, Kibby, let me tell you what's just happened. Stevenson, you are set down in this book for a year's rent due. I would like this matter settled at once, do you understand? Uh, please, Your Honor, I, I paid it your father before he died. So I am told. You have a receipt then and doubtless can produce it. A receipt? Well, uh, no, you see, I had not the time. No sooner did your father take the silver to him than he was seized with the pains that removed him. Oh, that was unlucky, Stevenson, very unlucky. Aye. But was there not others present to observe the transaction? Thanks, Sir John. I had just remembered. The money was paid in the presence of your father's butler, so Sir uh, Malcolm O'Haggis. Malcolm O'Haggis? What sort of a girl do you take me for, Stinson? Have you not heard that Malcolm O'Haggis was taken to his final rest not two days ago? Have you no one to call upon but the dead? The man you say you paid it to is dead, and the man you call to witness is dead too. Give up this foolishness, Stevenson, and pay your debts, man. I'll no be taken in by it. I had to borrow every mark. No matter what you borrowed the money, Stevenson. It's the payment to me, father. I want true father. Somewhere the money must be if there's a word of truth in you. I asked you to tell me where you think it is, and I demand an answer. In hell, if you ask me. In hell, with your father and his silver whistle. Oh, baby, stop him! And so, after insulting the laird of Primrose No, I walked here through the wood of Pit Murky, my thoughts as dark as the fur. Oh, the come fire. of your meat. Twill help more than anything. No, the whole world will think of me as a cheat and a thief. Dinner take on so, Piper. Have your meat. <coughs> and look here. Drink a toast to a better day. Aye, Tibby, for I'll drink a toast. I drink to the memory of Sir Robert Red Gauntlet. May he never rest in his grave till he righted the wrong he had done me. Have a care, Steenie. Dinner call on the day. Now I shall drink another toast. Would he but get me back my bag of silver or tell me what came of it, I'd drink to the health of the devil himself. Good evening.
morning, Steeny. Piper Steeny, is it not? Forgive me, friend. I, I do not ken your face. How do you ken my name? Piper Steeny. There are few who don't know your face. What is it you want with me? If you be in need, I have no silver. If you be a, a loyal man wanting company, I have neither the heart for mirth nor speak. But I want neither. I've come to profit you, Steeny, if you have the inclination. My master has a great yearning to hear the music of your pipe. Uh, as long he'll be waiting, I have neither the pipes nor the inclination. If it is a question of money, Steeny. Ah, that appears to interest you. Aye, it does. I take it then that your difficulty is uh, financial. Five hundred mark it is, five hundred mark. That is a hard pinch. But I think I can help you. Could you but lend me the money, sir, and take a long term in repayment? I know no, of no other help on earth. There may be some help. And, uh, dear. Oh, nay. I'll come to the point. I can tell you that your departed lord and master, Sir Robert Red Gauntlet, is disturbed in his grave by your curses. If you venture to go to see him, he promises to give you your receipt. You but humor me. Test me. If you dare. Well... And what would he have of me in return? Your word, your solemn word, to keep whatever bargain you make. And... And if I do not keep it? Then he will have your immortal soul. What say you, Piper? Ach, could I but get back my receipt, I'd... I'd go to the gates of hell and if need be, a step further. Then we are agreed. Oh, well... away your face. Do not look at me or you'll be lost. Is it really you, Malcolm O'Haggis? They have told me you were long dead. You do not affect yourself over me, uh, steamy lad. But look to yourself well. You'll be in great danger here. And unless you mind what I say, you may never go hence. From the peril of your immortal soul. Take nothing here from anyone, save your receipt. Neither food, nor drink, nor money. But just your receipt. And above all, do not play upon the pipes. It is the snare he set for you. Aye. Come with me. What your eyes behold, stand fast, and you'll hear your receipt. Sheesh, sheesh. Get forward to the board's head, you piping rascal. Remember, you'll get no money, I say, Rick. Well, Piper, may I settle with my son for the month for a year's rent? <laughs> <laughs> Please, your lordship, you would not settle without your receipt. What? Any fear, Piper? You'll hear your receipt. But first, you must place a tune on your pipes. Oh, ah, I'm silly. <laughs> give me much joy, your lordship. But as you can see, I have not got my pipes with me. Oh, well, here, steely lad. Look, your rain pipes. The very ones that were held in pawn. Take them, steely lad. Just a present I give you for your trouble. Give me your lordship. I, I be faint and fearsome and have not got the breath to fill the bag. Ah, to be sure, Stevie lads. You, you must eat and drink first here. Here, take your fill. I do not mean to offend your worship, but I came here neither to eat nor drink nor play nor any other thing but get advice about the money I had given your lordship and get a receipt for it. <laughs> oh, is, there, is there no pity in your man? We, we are no player tune for a soul who grieves for the pipes and the... The lost smell of heather. Nay, nay, Sir Robert, I cannot. But if you will but give me my receipt, I'll... I'll pray for your immortal soul. Ah! Let me spare your prayers, Piper. Here's your receipt. Now, as for the money, my dog whelp of a son may go look for it in the cat's cradle. Many thanks, Your Lordship. 
stop your sack dueling son of a wizard. I'm not done with you. You'll return to the widow pit murky twelve months hence to pay your master the homage you owe him for his perfection. And mind the well paper. I'll pay my due. You'll pay your due and no more. I commend myself not to you, Sir Robert, but to the pleasure of the Almighty. <laughs> Well, Stevenson, you devil of a bankrupt, have you brought my rent? No, I have not. Uh -huh. But I have brought your father's receipt for it. What? Here it is, your worship. Oh, you told me he had not gained your Your lordship, see if it is in order. From my appointed place, this 25th day of November. Why, that's only yesterday. Villain! You must have gone to hell for this. Nevertheless, I got it from your father's hand. I shall denounce you for a witch to the Privy Council. Did not shame your father's memory and yourself as well. Oh, no. Don't you should deny that it is in your father's handwriting. Uh, it is very like his hand, but sorcerers and forgers. And he said more. He said the money I paid him is to be found in the cat's cradle. In the cat's cradle? Aye, his exact words. Why? Is the box my old father ever kept beneath his chair? Aye, hey, and here it is. Uh, it's the very bag of silver I have paid your father. I hardly know what to make of this. The rent book, your lordship. Aye. I shall credit you as a rent book with the contents of the bag. And the receipt. The receipt? Your uh, worship is most generous. <laughs> I shall make a bargain with you. I shall return the silver in the bag on the single condition that you say nothing of your visit to that phantom you call my father. Is it agreed? Many thanks, your lordship. Aye, the receipt. Aye, the receipt. As for this, it is a queer sort of document, and I think it were best to put it quietly in the fire. Remember, Steeny Stevenson, to the wood of Pit Murky one year hence, or you forfeit your immortal soul. It were a year ago, this midnight precise, that the old one bade me meet him in the wood of Pit Murky. I had not spoken of it before, for fear I'd be called a wizard. Oh, the Lord have mercy on you, Steeny. Aye, the Lord have mercy. Before you go, I'll give you some more air. Right. Ah. Stevie, till midnight. Ah. I'll not go with them. I'll not go with them. I only took what was my own. I'll not go with them, Tibby. Comes Jeannie, my master awaits. Have you forgot? Nay. Nay, I have not forgotten. Come then, let's be off. Or we'll have Sir Robert Red Gauntlet in a temper. He will not go. Hold your tongue, this does not concern you. I say he will not go. He owes him not. He has contracted to return this night. He cannot refuse. I only took what was my own. Piper's teeny. You cannot avail yourself of help from below without paying for it. I only took what was my own! Well said, Larry. What a pity. I would have preferred that you came willingly. Help oh. me! 
Oh, crack the first head that comes near, ghost or live. Ah, such resolution. A pity to waste it. Now mind me well, Piper. If you do not fulfill your bargain and come this instant of your own free will, I shall take you by force. Hold. The only bargain I made with you was to visit Sir Robert Redgauntlet in his grave. That bargain I have fulfilled. I attain only what was mine own, neither food nor drink. And by every law on earth, I should be quits with a lot of you. Take him. There. Stir your pipe, bloody. Stir your pipe. Please. Please, Piper. Hey, they're gone. It was the Laird's hymn. The Laird's hymn? I... They couldn't have withstand it. Oh, you're safe, <laughs> man. <laughs> you're safe. Scull the pipes, man. Scull the pipes. <laughs> 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 And so, tis said that even today, Steenie's pipes can keep away trouble in any form, human or otherwise.